This is the latest torsion tail from G-Bone and it is called the TTX. In this video I will review it and also try all the different options that are available. And I will do a quick back-to-back -back comparison with my favorite torsion tail, the TT Aerospace. All of this to determine if this TTX really has the X factor. Hi, my name is Paul and I want to welcome you to BearNet Skate Systems. If this is your first visit to this channel, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell to receive notifications when there is a new video online. Before explaining the details of the TTX, we will have a look at the history of the torsion tail. Torsion tail was first introduced in May 2015 by G-Bomb Longboards. It was a revolutionary design for the distance skating scene. While the performance of a zero degree truck was already recognized among the skaters, the torsion tail V1 was a very welcome development. It integrated a zero degree truck into the structure of the board. By eliminating the traditional rear truck and deck support, it also gave a significant weight saving. Combining this with the improved performance showed great potential and because the torsion tail was still a prototype, the V2 version was introduced only a few months later. After some more development time and with the help of elite skaters, the TT Aerospace prototype was released. This design was stronger and made from aerospace aluminium alloy, which is almost indestructible. Soon after this, also a spring steel torsion tail was developed, which was called the TTS. And in 2017, there was an official release of both the TTA and the TTS. And because G-Bomb is always evolving and improving things, it didn't take long before these torsion tails were slightly modified to the so-called slim versions that we see today. The slim versions are offering slightly more flex to the design and are the most important torsion tails that are available. Until there was again another revolutionary design and it started a whole new episode in the torsion tail saga. And it is called the TTX. The TTX is also made from very robust aluminium and new to the design are the options to make use of several bushing configurations and with the addition of a spherical bearing. So you can ride it as a TTX Duo with two bushings on the outside. And if you add a tall center bushing, it is called the TTX Duro Plus. But you can also ride it with the spherical bearings installed around the axle. And this is called the TTX Spherical. And if we continue with the options, we can of course again add the center bushing and call it the TTX Spherical Plus. And of course, there is also the option to create your own bushing configuration. You can think of cones on the outside or other personal preferences. As you can see, plenty of options. So enough about the design, time to go for a skate. Okay, this is my regular setup. It's a Rocket Exodus, and uh, in front I got a, a G-Bomb glass drop with a beer net, of course. And in the back I got the TTA Aerospace. And the wheels that I use, Kaguama 77A. And um, yeah, the glass drop it's uh, set at 13 degrees, what I normally use with the beer net. And with TTA in the back, it's good to have a higher degree in the front so that you have a little bit more movement.
Well, I changed to the TTX. I tried it uh, without the sphericals, with the bushings. Yeah, and I think it's too soft, at least for me and what I'm used to. So therefore, I changed to the spherical, spherical plus, so with the center bushing. So the 75A bushing is in the center. It feels uh, much softer than the TTA. I can do uh, bigger, easier curves, carves. So I can make speed with pumping, as always. But the TTA is, uh, because it's a bit softer, it's uh, more flowing. Yeah, it feels okay, but I think very surfy. Yes, you can speak of surfy with uh, torsion tip. I can do the smaller pumps. But maybe I get, yeah, I got a little bit of wheel lift. I put in hard, hard pumps, but not that much. So what I will do, change the center bushing. I changed the center bushing to a blue Riptide 85A tall barrel. To me, it feels a, a bit better. So I need to push a little harder to get the real decent pumps. And with the small, the small pumps, you can do, a, yeah, you can get a great speed. Accelerating, I think it feels a bit better. So, uh, of course, it's not only the tail in the back, but it's also what you have in the front and the angle. But to me, the 85A feels better. And you can see the movement. If I make the, the harder pumps, there's still not really a wheel lift, maybe a little bit. And uh, therefore, I think. This combo is uh, good and maybe I can go even a little bit harder with the 87.5A, the tall barrel. Or maybe you can put some on your, your own cones in there or cones on the outside. I don't have them with me, so I will do it with only the center bushing, the tall barrel. If I change my stance a little bit on the deck, I'll put my uh, back feet more to the, to the middle, the middle of the deck. Uh, I can get more uh, speed out of it. But then of course there's less weight on the back, which will cause some wheel, wheel lift, especially with a harder bushing. But yeah, it's not that bad. And uh, with the TTA, I got more wheel lift. So probably good to mention, when I uh, changed from the TTA to the TTX, as I'm skating right now, the TTX, um, yeah, the TTA is longer, and therefore I changed uh, the mounting holes a bit, an, an inch towards the back, so that the wheelbase is similar as with the TTA, just to rule out any differences on wheelbase. As I mentioned, I will change the center bushing to a 87.5A. So that's slightly harder than the blue one. And now I got more the feeling that it's yeah, comparable in uh, stiffness to the TTA. Um, I got very easily wheel lift, as you, maybe you can see that. And um, yeah, that's, to be honest, that's what I like. And uh, yeah, let's see for a few kilometers how this will behave. And you can see as I make the bigger carves, I got the wheel lift. Better uh, speed performance. Um, close or even better than the TTA, I must say. And what I will do, I will change it later. Actually in a few minutes I will change it back to the TTA. It's back to the original setup that I am used to, the TTA. 
and then I can do a one-to-one -one comparison within a few minutes. Yeah, it feels, uh, feels different. Um, I can get the same performance. Um, I can't say any better, but the TTA is less uh, versatile. Yeah, if I would use softer bushings in the TTA, I could get more a more surfy feel, but that would also mean uh, less top speed. Yeah, I'm really happy with both, both of them. The TTA and the TTX, of course. In general, TTA is more stiff compared to the TTX. So after this, what can I say about this TTX? Well, it is very robust and has the quality that we expect from g -Bone. It is a great addition to the Torsentail family very versatile with lots of possibilities for tuning and tweaking. And I think the TTX can suit a lot of different riding styles, in contradiction to the different but often faster, more stiff feeling of the TTA, which not everybody will like. And that is exactly why the TTX will serve that group of distance skaters who are not only looking for straight out of the box performance, but also want to create and experiment their own optimal performing torsion tail. Then the most important question remains. Does the TTX has the X factor? Well, you have to pay a price that is 25% higher as the TTA. But for that, you will get a high-end torsion tail with a huge versatility that is able to dominate in every longboard distance race. And it has an absolute cutting edge design then it certainly has the X-Factor. Thank you all for watching my video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I hope to see you in my next video.